Madhuri Venkatesh case, the second one, uh, uh, also has certain institutional specificities, which I think is important to recognize about the fact that you have uh, huge uh, 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 science uh, centers which have come up, uh, which uh, perhaps, uh, I mean, there is a certain new demand that it places on the governance and other structures of the university. So we have tried to document that also in the in the report, uh, and uh, and and of course the kind of issues which uh, Central Kumar confronted in terms of you know uh, the uh, the doctoral uh, 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 I mean about having a supervisor etc was reenacted in the Madhuri Venkatesh. I uh, I'm only saying that it's important that. The descriptive ground on which some of uh, some any uh, uh, of the recommendations that are being made, I think the recommendations are as important as the descriptive ground that it has sought to seek to cover. So I think, and the report has been fairly, uh, uh, you know, concentrating on recalling the, the the factual circumstances in which certain things uh, went on to happen. Uh, and one more thing, one more thing, I think, uh, I mean, many times uh, there is a certain moralized psychology that uh, administrators get involved in. And I think, I, I think it's important that when we address issues in institutional terms, such a moralized psychology should not be the language in which reports get to be written. Uh, so somewhere along the way, I think the factual ground that the report has sought to enlighten for us, for us, is also uh, engaging with questions of a certain moral psychology of students themselves, and a moral psychology which does not, you know, kind of degenerate into some kind of a moralized psychology. Yeah, I have just a small yeah. question. It's a long term question. Uh, Two thousand eight, uh, Professor Vinod. Uh, 2001. Uh, uh, 2008. Two, 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 first, two, first suicide was at 2008. Anyway, yeah. and yours. And there's a common both. He also says, as uh, that report also says, the supervisor's relationship between advisor and the student should be that of a mentor. Hmm? You also repeat the same thing and make it a more effective. Uh, after five, six years of this thing, and now the Rohit thing, uh, it is not translated. What I feel is that no effort has been gone into it among the teachers. And today, not all teachers, many of the teachers are still not uh, taking the Rohit thing seriously. The way the team passed the results and that kind of thing. And there's a most worrisome part. And what is to be done with it? But if the university teachers don't take this seriously, nobody can help the university. True. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I think Vinod's point is pertinent that there should be an audit uh, of the kind of uh, 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 you know institutional recommendations that have been made by the uh, various committees uh, and and I, I think uh, yes in terms of that other question about whether teachers can take on that mantle I think I think there is something about caste which I think you know there is a certain touchiness in which the caste question comes to participate in and I think it's important uh, that uh, that that certain touchiness about the caste question can a little uh, alleviate uh, you know, kind of set to the wayside. Uh, it also, I think, has to do. I mean, the touchiness of the caste question is also perhaps having to do with the, with the, with perhaps the fact that some of the committee, uh, the members of the tribunal, had noted about why fact uh, teachers haven't been in the, uh, you know, supportive and larger numbers in the Rohit uh, uh, case. And I think, uh, I think it has. I, that's why I think it's. It, one has to negotiate that question along that axis. About yes, mentoring, etc. Those are exercises. Uh, but whether whether at the level of the university as an institutional site, mentoring exercises can 
you know, whole dividends uh, at the institutional level is a question which perhaps one will have to raise. Although individually at our own levels, uh, there is a certain uh, yeah. active role that all of us seek yeah, to play. There are certain teachers, irrespective of that, they do it. They, I have no doubt yeah. about it. There are the teachers. But overall atmosphere is not in that favor. And some kind of a process need to be started. Uh, and if you don't start it, uh, I don't know what will happen. Yeah, I think I think this is the I, I think some of the this question about I mean there is a the IQAC cell in universities now which a lot of the university administrators invoke as a so there is a sense in which uh, a, a certain quality parameter on which uh, uh, you know the IQAC cell uh, would recognize would have to do with perhaps a participation, a teacher's participation in some of these initiatives. So, uh, and which has certain, you know, in a sense there is a certain incentivization that happens with reference to uh, the IQ, uh, uh, the quality parameters that, on the basis of which faculty get to be uh, judged. So maybe, maybe some of these uh, te uh, teacherly contributions, etc., might uh, have to translate into some a tangible quality sure. parameter on the basis of which perhaps one can that uh, process needs to, to be started. Yeah. And it, it comes from within, nothing yeah. like that. Thank you.